There's Whoa. interesting gelatinous. Yeah, look at that. Surprise, surprise. This is a, is this called like a, a glass squid or does it have another name? Uh, I would oh, have wow. to go look it up. Uh, oh boy. It's staying nice and uh, still for us. Just a bit nice and easy. Do we, uh, do we want to stop and look yeah. at this for a minute? Yes, let's All play right. with this for a minute. Let's do this justice and do some beauty shots on it. So much fun stuff. Oh, wow, look at that. It's interacting with the bottom, sort of grabbing onto this rubble. Oh, yeah, it is. Oh, oh. wow. What type of squid is this one? We're not 100% sure. I'm not sure. sure. What yeah. is inside of it? It's got... It, like, grabs something. Some sort of dangling thing. Oh, I've never seen a squid go forward like that. Wow. Wow. That's really cool. Oh, wow. There he goes. Can we zoom out? Tell us about it. <laughs> So this is one of these sit-and-wait predators, and it's sort of adapted its pectoral fins, its little arms, to sort of hold on to the seafloor in current, and it just waits for prey to come along and, and swallows it. That is great. There he is, walking about. Yep, you can see his whiskers. <laughs> Lots of whiskers, and if you notice those little uh, white things going down the side of his body, those are sensory structures that most fish have inside pores on their scales in their lateral line. But this fish is so sensitive to motion, it actually sticks its sensory cells outside, sticking up off the skin so that it is ultra sensitive to motions in the water. This doesn't work for most fish because they swim themselves and so they create their own motion, but because this fish sits on the seafloor immobile most of the time. Oh, and you can see the little wow. lure. You see the little lure on the forehead yep. flipping back and forth? So yep, that's what it's using the lure things in with. Oh, it's luring us in for sure. They just have the grumpiest mouths. <laughs> <laughs> just so frowny.